Hi guys, welcome to the Music b, &B. I am 315 and today we are going to be reacting to an artist known as Donny Gameo or Donny Gameo. I'm really bad at pronouncing artist names if I haven't heard them before so I do apologise to Donny Gameo. And the song we're going to be listening to is another thing I can't pronounce, it's called Hesperidium or Esperidium. Now, Donny Gameo may be new to the scene but that does not mean that he does not exceed expectations, experimental with music and trying things that a lot of producers wouldn't even dare to try so let's give Esperidium or Hesperidium a go it sounds like it's gonna be a unique song let's see very unique sounds almost like a bouncing ball kind of thing going on keep rising pitch pitch is going up down and up and down on some kind of weird outer skelter okay bashing the cymbals sharp sounding synth sharp sounding sounds pulsating in the ears oh. okay we've got trancy euro synth is out I really don't know where this is going to go. I really don't know. <laughs> I felt like it was going to kick in and now we've got some, some weird quiet bit. Oh. And then some sort of hip-hop beat very shortly. Unique doesn't even feel like the right word right now. Madness in beauty is how I describe this. I, mean, I love stuff that changes all the time, I do. Keeps it fresh and interesting to the ears. So very unique electronic kind of music here. I don't know where I'm at with this. I feel like I need about 50 listens of this track before I feel comfortable with it. I'd say some of the, the synths sound too loud compared to the rest of the mix, uh, especially the up and down pitchy thing. I'd probably have that a bit lower, it's a bit high, and then there is some high end that needs taken off, especially with the, the start of the track. This is dirty, I like this. I'd love to hear someone try and do vocals over this. I have no idea how you do it. <laughs> where, where would you approach that? One minute you're somewhere, the next minute you're somewhere else. We've got some crazy oversynthesizing and calming down. It's like, oh, okay. Back to this sort of weird realm. A lot of pitch shifting going on. Um, I'm I'm stumped. Usually I know exactly what to say at the end of a reaction, but um I don't know how to comment on this. It's a very 
complex, complicated song, but there are hooks, there are repeats, things that are brought back to. When I was getting towards the end of the track, I was starting to understand it, starting to come to terms with what was going to be happening, what was coming. Um, so it was a very sort of bouncy track between one idea to another with no sort of build between each section. For me, I would have liked some way of transitioning between each section. It kind of feels like there's an idea I like, there's another idea I like, there's another idea I like, pop them together, see what happens. Um, it was fun. It was incredibly fun. I can tell that when this was made, it was fun making it. I really can. For it to become a little bit that little bit more interesting, perhaps some vocals, some chops in it would have been nice to get my ears, you know, more entertained, I'd say. Humans in general are looking for some kind of vocals within a song because it's the first thing that a lot of humans can relate to quickly. Apologies for this rectangle that keeps appearing trying to focus on my face. Um I think like I said a few more listens and I probably feel quite comfortable with this track um, it was very uncomfortable but I can tell that was the point the point was to be uncomfortable and it definitely made me feel that uncomfortable and like Donnie tries to do it tries to get into those realms that no other producers would bother or want to try and get into and to explore that must be l quite liberating um, and as a new artist on the scene new artists are the ones that are leading the way into the future they're paving new genres for the old guard who don't know how to make something new um, and new stuff is always daunting there's always a version to it but that does not mean that anyone in their right mind should stop I would like to see how this can be developed further be pushed further be given and delivered to others further I love interesting, weird, zany music because my music taste is not a taste. I, I would just literally eat everything. I'm, I'm the guy at the buffet that would just pile everything onto his plate with music. So I enjoyed that because I didn't enjoy it. And that's why I enjoyed it. I felt uneasy. I felt uncomfortable. And that's why it was unique. It was art an art form that made you feel uncomfortable. And just like with artists who paint, they they have that intended design. So yeah, if you like that, if you felt uncomfortable by it, let me know in the comments. If you disagree and you felt really at ease with it, let me know in the comments. Tell me I'm wrong, tell me I'm right. Tell me you're dying in mind. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, Goodbye, I guess. Link's in the description. Make sure to check it out. Bye. Oh, my word.